Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm here with my co-host, Social. And today we are doing a topic talk, and we're talking about celebrity crushes that you had when you were a kid. Okay, and Social, just for our audience's understanding, what is a crush, again, if you have a crush on someone? A crush is like when you really, really like someone, kind of like an intense infatuation, but it's not really based on anything real, like like a real connection with that person. It's a lot of what you project on that person, and it's usually based on like either appearance or small like personality traits that right. you've acquired through seeing them act or whatever that you kind of imagine for this person. And so you 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 know often like like high school kids will you'll have a crush on a girl in your class or a guy in your class but you don't really know that person you just mm -hmm. but but it's like almost like an intense feeling of love like it's not real love but it's just like it feels like your 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 chest is being crushed because you're you're so you your feelings are so strong for this person like they're perfect you know oh mm -hmm. the perfect person but um really in reality you don't know them at all and uh, they could be awful, right. you know? So, um, right. yeah, that's what, so, so we have a thing called celebrity crushes because there's, you know, we're, we're surrounded by celebrities all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes we will develop, you know, that feeling of like, again, that crush feeling, it's like, it's not love or it's not real love, but it's like attraction to, right a person who you feel like is your soulmate, your perfect person, you know, like, oh, that's, that's my ideal, you know, person. And so mm -hmm. when you were uh, like young, when you're a, a kid, um, who were your celebrity crushes? Like who, who were you? Um, who did you crush on when you were? Oh, boy. <laughs> my biggest one was um, Justin Bieber. Oh, I was gonna say Justin Timberlake. <laughs> no, I, I, he was too old. I think. Yeah, for he's my, like a grandfather. Yeah, for, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, Justin Bieber was like my. Uh, he was a couple years older, like a few years. He's a few years older than me, I think. Yeah. Um, and so he was a big celebrity crush of mine. Um, when I was probably like fourteen or third, when I was thirteen, he was like sixteen, probably. So can I ask and, you a um, question? So yeah, go ahead. did you have Bieber fever? God, yeah, I did. I, I thought it was too good to have Bieber fever, but I wasn't. And uh, I didn't like him at the same time that every, like everyone else already liked him. And I was like holding out. Mm. And then I saw this interview where he was really nice to this little girl. And it was like, I thought it was so cute. Um, and that was and, before all the facial tattoos and the like uh, neck Yeah, tattoos. it was before he went kind of crazy and, no. you know, had a meltdown because he was like, he was transitioning from child star to adult star. Yeah, um, yeah. And I thought he was just so cute. And I had like a, people bought me like gifts for my birthday. Like they bought me both of his like CDs that he had at the time, a lunchbox with his face on it. And I had a huge poster that my sister bought me on my bedroom wall. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And so that was a big, uh, that was like one of my first big celebrity crushes um okay. jack you go with one of yours and we'll just go back and forth here okay How about again my okay i'm 47 years old so you have to understand these all that my celebrity crushes all come from like the late 80s to early 90s okay when i was like 12 or 13 years old um because i was born in 1977 so um uh my my first uh i don't know i'm trying to think of like my celebrity crush um i think maybe one of the one of my first ones was uh the actress elizabeth shu um and you probably don't know who she is right uh, elizabeth shu was in a movie called the karate kid and oh my god she was daniel's girlfriend daniel's girlfriend yes yes i, I do know because i saw so... my mom made me watch my mom's a gen yeah. xer and she made us watch the karate kid when we were kids yeah. which i liked a lot yeah. it's so, a classic yeah. you gotta watch it um mm -hmm. the karate kid is uh yeah it's a classic movie and elizabeth shu was the love interest in there she had a uh daniel had a crush on her they she had an ex-boyfriend who was a bully and um 
yeah, it was, uh, she, she was, you know, absolutely, you know, the epitome of like the perfect high school girlfriend, you know, bubbly, charming, um, cute, you Girl know, next door style. girl next door. Yeah. She was, she was very, she was kind, you know, she wasn't stuck up. She, um, yeah. Yeah. So Elizabeth Shue was, was one of my first celebrity crushes. Have you seen a uh, Cobra Kai? Yeah, I've watched that. <laughs> I saw a couple seasons of that show. I enjoyed <laughs> you should it. watch more because she shows back up at some point. Yep, she did show up in that one. Um, yeah, you know, now she's 50, you know, something years old, 55 years old or whatever. But um, yeah, uh, so, you know, that was one of my celebrity crushes. I'm sure I'm, it's me and about a million other Gen X, you know, men my age, maybe tens of millions who would put her on the list. Yeah, yeah. What's right your number two? my number two uh high school musical when everyone was crushing on zach efron i was crushing on corbin blue Corbin Blue, who's <laughs> that? Which one is that's that? his friend uh i don't know because i only watched high school musical one time but he's like i'm trying to find a picture of him to show you guys here he was this guy Wait, Corbin Blue is his real name, or is that his uh the yeah name that's of the character? his real name this is Okay. Corbin Blue. Can you see him here? There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's got like kind of uh big hair. Curly hair Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. yeah. He was my, I had, he, I thought he was really cute and I did not understand the hype over Zac Efron. I felt like Zac Efron's eyes didn't match the rest of his face and he was orange looking. And sorry, Zac Efron. <laughs> Those were like my observations and I thought Corbin Blue was just the cutest. So that was, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, I almost I'm a... always like never was like a huge fan of the main character I always liked the second guy like uh you in like Harry the goof, Potter like goofy best friend, you know, guy yeah or whatever. like Yeah. in Harry Potter Yeah. I always liked Ron Weasley over Harry Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel Yeah. like that was just my thing I don't know why <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, Harry's short, you know, in real life. He's a pretty short guy. Isn't Rupert Grant also short, though? Probably. Yeah. He Yeah, might be I taller think he's than Harry, too. though. I just thought Yeah. he was cuter than They're Harry. all tiny little, yeah. They're all short people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, all right. My my second one is um, I used to watch this show again when I was like, you know, 12 or 13 called um, Saved by the Bell. It was a sitcom. And but it was like a it was like a, a, ch a kid's sitcom. It was different. It would it was on Saturday mornings instead of like, you know, Thursday evening, Saved by the Bell. And it was Mm -hmm. it took place in a high school. And there was uh, again, this is like a, a side character um, named Lisa Turtle was her name. But her real name is Lark Voorhees, the actress. And I had a a huge crush on on her and she was like um the character do you, have you ever heard of the character screech screech the the nerd no okay I mean, you have no idea what i'm talking about right now okay No, it's, no I'm it totally doesn't matter not. <laughs> no one none of our students know what i'm talking about saved by the bell uh lisa turtle and Mm -hmm. uh that's her her real name is lark Voorhees, the actress and so i had a huge crush on her yeah Lark is a cool name for That a is woman. a cool name. I think that I know. is a really cool name, Lark Maybe Voorhees. the only way it would be cooler is to do like Skylark. That's is that cooler? I've seen Skylar as a name, but I like Lark better. I think I think that's cooler, like Lark What about Voorhees. Skylark? I think it's like trying too hard. I think Lark Voorhees sounds like you're like a cool, like in a punk rock band or so, you Yeah, know, like yeah. a grunge band. You know what I Okay, mean? okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. I did too. I did too. All right. My third one was when I was like a little bit older. So it's like, so I'm a little embarrassed, but I think I was like 18 or 19. So I was still a teenager. Uh, so in Guk. He's a Korean uh, actor and singer. And I saw him in a music video by K. Will called Please Don't. And he was really cute. Like, I just thought, oh, my God, he's so cute. And I started like, looking up what other stuff he was in besides his music video. And he was in some K-dramas. And 
he had his own music and stuff. And so I would like listen to his music video. He has a really nice voice. Is that why you um, came to Korea? Because you got into like K-pop no, a little no. bit? No, 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 no. You didn't I come was to not meet him in person? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. No, I wasn't a huge K-pop person. Um, I like solo artists like uh like uh IU so I or Rain, video. something like that. B, yeah. I don't really know Rain or B. That might have been like a little oh, before okay. my time. But Saul and Good, K Will, IU, I was a huge fan of them. Mm-hmm. Um and the whole reason I really got into Korea was actually a YouTuber called Chonun Miguk Saram. I was looking up how to teach abroad in uh just teaching abroad in general i think and her mm-hmm. channel came up about teaching abroad in korea um and then like the benefits are so much better and easier i feel like than a lot of other english esl countries so that's yeah, how yeah, I... yeah 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 um yeah but soin gook was a huge celebrity crush of mine so what's your um, last one Jack? okay okay my last one is uh the singer this one was uh she was very popular when i was in high school maybe uh 10th grade or 9th grade or something uh Mm -hmm. jewel do you know jewel no you've never heard of jewel i've never heard of her i really have never heard of her i'm so old (laughs) i'm so old all right uh jewel is uh she what she she's a uh guitarist singer songwriter um Mm -hmm. she her first single who will save your soul is you know has probably 20 million downloads on on uh, youtube um she's just a uh very very talented singer and i think Mm -hmm. just her beauty and her talent was you know just you know i had a crush on her because i think there's something about that combination of like um attractive beauty and also talent and ability to sing and write music it was to me like you know like oh my gosh perfect yeah. you know like oh right, my like the triple whammies yeah, yeah 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 it wasn't just about physical you know appearance it was like oh man you know she's smart beautiful and she can write music and sing and perform and has a great voice so um you know i mean i'm sure the, like lots of uh my parents generations had crushes on like joni mitchell or you know emmy lou harris or other you know um mm-hmm. you know diana ross or whatever but um yeah for my generation it was jewel and uh you you have no idea who i'm talking about <laughs> i'm gonna have to look her up after this i'll <laughs> yeah. send me a, send me like a youtube of one of her songs of jewel you should go down to jewel you should go down to jewel rabbit hole you might actually really like her because you're you're like a singer guitar player guitar writer you know yeah. singer songwriter yourself I think I'd probably like her. yeah yeah you would um, and yeah. i'll send you like a song good song and then we can <laughs> trade okay yeah then we'll compare yeah. notes uh next week yeah yeah, yeah okay. sounds good all right. All right, listeners. Well, you have to let us know who your celebrity crushes were. I'd love to hear about celebrity crushes from around the world. Uh, leave us a comment down below at a to z English podcast.com. Shoot us an email at a to z English podcast at gmail.com and make sure to join our community of students in our WhatsApp and WeChat groups. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.